Alright everybody, the long-awaited prequel to Game of Thrones is here. And although nothing can ever rectify how that one ended, let's see how well this show stands on its own. Ah, shit. Okay, but at least we're getting some sick new intro music, right? Well, uh, it's sure to be all uphill from here, and the episode kicks off with Galadriel filling us in on the ways of succession and how Viserys Targaryen became the fifth king of Westeros. The old king called a great council to choose an heir. Prince Viserys Targaryen, the king's eldest male descendant. Rhaenys, a woman, would not inherit the Iron Throne. Ah yes, a scene up in the clouds, you know what this means. Whoops. There she goes, the young Galadriel Targaryen on the back of her dragon. Love to see it. It appears my worries that the entire budget would be allocated to CGI were entirely unwarranted. House to Train Your Dragon looks vibrant, if a little bit Disney at times. I mean, just look at these cuties. Find yourself someone who looks at you the way Rhaenyra looks at Toothless. This guy is worried, and this girl is so content it makes Rhaenyra swoon. Oh look! Remember Cersei's map? Ooh, and remember the tower that collapsed and strangled her according to that prophecy? Anyway guys, this is Ama. She's pregnant and her handmaids are somehow able to focus solely on the baby in her belly without regard for her. Here you are, surrounded by attendants, all focused on the baby. Someone has to attend to you. Okay, cool. Then Ama kicks off some classic mother-daughter talk with Galadriel, Renaria, Rhaenyra. And guys, the dialogue is a little bit convoluted, so I've added some clarifying subtitles. You. Will I in this bed soon enough, Renera? I'd rather serve as a knight and ride to bustling glory. <laughs> the child bed is our battlefield. We must learn to face it with a stiff lip. Up in the small council meeting, Corliss Valerian, though clear-headed and wise, is trying to bring up matters of national security, but the boys are busy discussing the furthering of the patriarchy. There's a boy in the Queen's belly. I know it. And my heir will soon put all of this damnable hand-wringing to rest himself. The way it's always been. The way it's always been. Down in the throne room, Daemon's butt commits treason as he summons Rhaenyra for a classic Targaryen catch-up. Remember Game of Thrones? Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that throne, by the way. Ah, and who remembers the godswood? Well, that's where we find out that Princess Nymeria wants to fight convention by marrying a... man. When Princess Nymeria arrived in Dawn, who did she take to husband? A man. Yes, Khaleesi. Also, if any of you patriarchs out there are still clinging on to the notion that women are generally more agreeable than men, then get a load of this. You're always like this when you're worried. Like what? Disagreeable. But wait, there's more. You're worried your father is about to overshadow you with a son. I only worry for my mother. Checkmate sexism. I hope for my father that he gets a son. You want him to have a son? In the king's chambers, the seeds of impending doom are planted as Chad Viserys disregards his help, and Otto doesn't want anyone to know. It's a small cut from sitting a throne. It's nothing. Whatever it is, it needs to be kept quiet. In Amos bathtub, we're reminded of the previous scene where... Rhaenyra has already declared that she's her sister. <laughs> my father that he gets his son. <laughs> then Emma expresses her baseless medieval views on gender politics. You do understand that nothing will cause the babe to grow a cock if it does not already possess one. But it's cool because Viserys could not be more certain it's a baby boy. This child is a boy, Emma. Yeah. I've never been more certain of anything. Downtown, Damon is firing up the lads for a night's honest work, carefully picking up the worst of the worst without Raver! mistake. Swiftly and precise. Okay, now it kind of seems like they're just maiming people for sport. Right, so what does the king have to say about all this? Actually, wait before you say anything, make sure the stone is in the thing before you... Yeah, okay, carry on. Our city should be safe for all its people. I agree. There we go! But Otto ain't gonna let him off the hook so easily and starts antagonizing Damon by bringing up his wife. If only the prince would show the same devotion to his lady wife as he does his work, your grace. Ooh. My bronze bitch is happier for my absence. Oh. 
Now men are said to fuck sheep instead of women. I can assure you, the sheep are prettier. Oh! Wait, Damon, you forgot your stone. The, the stone, Damon. Anyway, down in the Glee house, Damon's butt commits another form of treason, and although spirits seem high, deep down, Damon is a sad boy. But nothing cheers a man up like being reminded of his name. You are Damon Targaryen. She's a keeper, this one. All right, who remembers the hands tourney? Well, Hot Diggity D has got that too, and so much more. Haha, <laughs> yeah, violence! Ooh, fast cuts of fast cuts. Whoa, cheating is cool! Oh, uh, oh. Um, wait, did people actually kill each other in the melees like this? I wonder if this is how we should celebrate the birth of our future king. These knights were screen as summer grass. Ah, yes, just like Renly's army. None of them real war. Their lord sent them to the tourney field with fists full of steel and balls full of seed. And we expect them to act with honor and grace. I don't know, I just got here. Anyway, the queen, a strong woman, is now in labor, and the king is faced with an impossible choice. Your queen is a strong woman. She's fighting with all her might, but it may not be enough. During a difficult birth, it sometimes becomes necessary for the father to make an impossible choice. To sacrifice one, or to lose them both. Stick around to see who the king chooses. He chose the boy. Unfortunately, the baby is not long for this world, which most likely comes down to Viserys betrothing him to Marjorie Tyrell or something, but nobody knows for sure. Meanwhile, Damon fights Dornish supermodel Kristen Cole and makes the classic mistake of not finishing the job, leading to a humiliating defeat. At the funeral, Damon shows us his caring side as Toothless awaits Rhaenyra's command to do the thing. Remember Daenerys? Dracarys! After all is recorded and done, the small council convenes and, uh, yeah, uh, don't forget the stone. Thank you. And waste no time discussing the succession. Your Grace, this is the last thing any of us wish to discuss at this dark hour, but I consider the matter urgent. That of your succession. But an heir exists, and the real reason Otto is pressing the issue is because he wants nothing less than to see the king's meeting-skipping, unpredictable brother on the throne. Shall we say his name? I it's okay, Corliss, we all know who- Daemon Targaryen. Daemon. Daemon Targaryen. Daemon of House Targaryen! Prince Daemon Targaryen! Daemon. 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 Prince Daemon. 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 Daemon Targaryen. That was necessary. And as a treat to all the patient viewers out there, there's finally some decent dialogue with the boys taking sensible positions for or against Damon's claim respectively. If Damon were to remain the uncontested heir, it could destabilize the realm. The realm? Or this council? Damon is my brother, and he will have his place at my court. Well, who else would have a claim? The king's firstborn child. But boys, remember the way it's always been. The way it's always been. No queen has ever sat the Iron Throne and been made to choose between my brother and my daughter. Yeah, let's put a pin in that, shall we? There are others who would have a claim. <laughs> Such as your wife, Lord Corliss. Rhaenys was the only child of Jaehaerys' eldest son. She had a strong claim at the Great Council, and she already has a male Just heir. Just moments ago, you announced your support for David. If we cannot agree on an heir, then how can we my expect a My wife and son are dead! Whoosh. <laughs> Things really got heated there. <laughs> Wait, Viserys, you forgot your- Oh, never mind. Later that evening, Otto sends for his daughter and asks her to, um, comfort the king. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Oh gosh, that's awful. Ah, well, at least it's not incest. Yeah, we're gonna have to put a pin in that too, won't we? Oh, and remember Dragonstone? Back in the Street of Silks, this guy decides that Damon should hold a speech after having resumed his airship to the throne. So he he raises a toast to the late baby Balon, the heir for a day, which does not look good on old Damaru, but does provide for more good dialogue. The heir for a day. Did you say it? We must all mourn in our own way, your 
grace. You chose to celebrate your own rise, laughing with your whores and your leg spittles. Ten years you've been king, and yet not once have you asked me to be your hand. Why would I do that? Because I'm your brother. Then why do you cut me so deep? I've only ever spoken the truth. I see Otto Hightower for what he is. You're weak. And that council of leeches knows it. And that's when Viserys drops the bomb. I have decided to name a new heir. I'm your heir. Not anymore, you're not. Which conveniently leads us down to the skull of Beleriand the Black Dread. Now, if you thought this show was gonna take its sweet time to build up the intrigue, you came to the wrong place. Viserys names Renaria Starkarian heir to the Iron Throne, and we are up and running, baby! Ah, if only the episode had just ended there. Aegon foresaw the end of the world of men. Viserys, don't. Uh, just to begin with a terrible winter. Please, no. When this great winter comes, Munira, all of Westeros must stand against it. No! God! And if the world of men is to survive, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne. Don't try it! A king or queen. Aegon called his dream the Song of Ice and Fire. Ooh, my poor heart! Ooh, but remember Littlefinger's dagger, though? Maybe. Now you must promise to carry it. Promise me this, Renero. Promise me that. Okay, this necklace with the standards of all the great houses is pretty sick. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Don't remember. Don't remember. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. It helps the channel grow, and I'll see you next week for another episode.